96th Academy Awards will be handed out this Sunday. Over the past few years, we've seen some different trends when it comes to the films and stars nominated for the prestigious awards. And John is sitting down asking questions about what we can expect this year. Yeah, last month was the Super Bowl. This weekend's the Super Bowl of the movie business. And joining me now is Wright State's Motion Pictures Facility and Equipment Manager, Parker Bowling. Parker, it's great to have you with us. Uh, do you have your party all set for Sunday? Oh, absolutely. All right. All right. Got to make sure you get all the, um, the important stuff done. Right. Uh, listen, uh, we are expecting a great show. We've seen viewership go up. We've seen a lot of interest in a lot of these movies. But over the past few years, Parker, we've also seen a shift in nominations towards the major movies mm -hmm. of the year. Uh, are you seeing that? And if, if so, why are we seeing that? I think you're absolutely right. And part of it is, especially with COVID, people weren't able to see movies for a couple of years. So I think that these studios who are heavily invested in all these products are really interested in getting the accolades because that's something that people on the street are really interested in seeing. If it's an Oscar winning movie, that's something that makes people want to go buy it. All right, we used to see uh, for quite a while there was that stretch where we saw indies or smaller uh, studios making these movies that were just critical hits. Um, are those movies still out there or are they just being overlooked? Why are we not seeing as much of that? I definitely think there are. There is some historical precedent for this actually. In the 1960s and in the 1990s, there were a lot of movies that weren't made by major studio systems that did really well. Yeah. And then in my opinion, right after that, the studios found out, oh, they got some of the magic. We need to get that back. So we'll push it towards full force with the marketing to get these uh, nominated and uh, awarded Oscars. You and I have talked before about Barbenheimer. Right. We talked about it before it uh, hit the theaters, and both were huge. They were cash cows mm -hmm. at the movie theater, especially Barbie. Right. Uh, but there's critical success, and there is corporate success. Uh, certainly, corporately, they both cashed in. But critically, are they deserving of all the accolades they're getting? In my opinion, yes. Film is a collaborative art form, so any of these movies that do well enough to get the amount of viewers that these movies did have hundreds of people working a lot of hours, time, investment, and money. So I think for that, it's absolutely worth all the accolades it's getting. Yeah, we, we mentioned it off the top. Viewership for the Oscars, we've seen that going up recently, Parker. Why do you think that is? I think part of it is people recognize the movies. So having these tentpole releases as part of the awards is a great way to help people who may not otherwise be interested really uh, have something to hook them in. All right. Uh, everybody likes to make their predictions. We do that for the Super Bowl right. every time. Absolutely. So what do you think are going to be the big winners? I really don't know. I think Oppenheimer is going to do pretty well. I hope Barbie does. I love both of them. All right. So if, you, if it came down to it, your movie of the year will be what? We'll go with Barbie. Go with Barbie? Yeah. Oh, that would be big. Yeah. We shall see. Uh, Parker Bowley, Motion Pictures Facility and Equipment Manager at Wright State University. Of course, uh, the Oscars are coming up this Sunday, and we will uh, be sitting on pins and needles to find out all the winners. Thank you so much for joining us, Parker. Thank you.